Hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill.
Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? Had hoped she'd accept my decision. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Mantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can.
It ain't right. How many good folk are we gonna lose to our missions? Move along. You gotta be more careful throwing away lives like that. Antiquated. Yeah, we felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Ah, yes. The first step to accepting the truths of philosophism is to open your heart to its wisdom. I've found the written word to be quite effective in helping people do that. But alas, the eternal truth hasn't been generous with the paper and ink. Now, why have you come? A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. Yes. We will make do, as we always have. Spreading the word of our movement is of paramount importance. Will you aid us in our cause? Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs, so eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so... tone-deaf. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Everybody here looks wore out. Captain. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? 
What are you, a safety inspector? It's busted, pumping out gas. It ain't safe. Oh, whoops. I'll get right on that, boss. Hope this ain't in my performance review. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? All right, you gonna saw it off already? We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? Right, Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. Soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. You'd have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. Troubling. Thanks for clearing out those goons. Please don't kill me next. Graham ordered rollers and wetsits, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing it. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Something you need?
I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... We will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Noys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The written word can be quite effective, but losing your flock seems counterproductive. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Yes, you're damn right he could have, but he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them.
What was, that? what was that? What was that? Incoming. Good thing we came along and decided to help. You gotta sell your shit for beer money.
We did it. That was a hell of a soiree. Would that we could. We ain't leaving our men behind, and they ain't moving on their own. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. That was a hell of a soiree. Yes, let's. Get us our medic back, and we'll get out of here. Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. Jail, Mr. Max? And you are our vicar? Yes, but as I've repeatedly said, I was assigned there as a vicar. I was not a prisoner. I just can't believe you'd lie. I was not lying. It had no bearing on my ability to minister to my flock and was therefore not worth mentioning. If you'll just listen... No! No more listening! No more preaching! We are losing people left and right! We need to act! Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? They are armed all the same. All they need is a good reason, and war is one such reason. We're out of time. We need food and ammunition. We need to hit Stellar Bay while we still have the manpower to do it. Doubtful. But we don't need much, and Sanjar isn't going to share. It is. We are desperate. We're starving. My people are dying left and right. Yes, I know it's drastic, but it's clear that Sanjar will never cooperate. 
And if it's him or us, I choose us. It is. We are desperate. We're starving. My Excellent. Did you find the Vanois? Lucky indeed. Thank you. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do, articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. Hey. Greetings, friend. Captain, I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? Fella came through Edgewater once, mentioned something to my dad about pirates wiping out of town. You mean this is the same place? Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby rap nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. Right, the access codes to Amber Heights. What gets me is, if this belonged to the pirates, that means they knew someone there. If someone gave them the gate code, all those deaths, Captain, all that blood is on their hands. Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. I appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good, too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, it'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the Taros.
mercy from me.
great work. Welcome back. You find anything out there? Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain gave them the gate codes. Watch it. That's our leader you're talking about. My friend. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. Go take a walk, Captain. I'll find you once my head's on straight. <laughs> 